Hi, my name's Hannah and I'm Rosie and we're both members of the Youth at Andover Baptist Church and this is day five of this week's series called Stepping Out. Today we're going to be doing things a bit different as we'll be talking about how God can use us and what we can do rather than someone he used in the Bible whilst also sharing some experiences of our own. Writing and filming these devotions for this week has been an unexpected and unusual but enjoyable experience. Most of the time we would shy away from these kinds of opportunities, but we felt like this was actually the right thing to do. Poland was a very memorable and eye-opening trip for us, and since then it has affected our daily lives. On our trip to Poland, we had a very jam-packed week, ranging from visiting the Polish church and street church to going to the third largest cemetery in Europe as well as meeting many lovely people along the way. However, one of the most important visits in Poland was to a homeless shelter, and nothing could have prepared us for this experience. A lot of the people in the shelter were war veterans, so had injuries including amputations, and the standards of living were shocking in comparison to the UK. For example, they weren't able to have any bed sheets because they didn't have anybody to clean them. Having seen all this, all of us that went on the trip felt like we needed to help our own community. So we discussed how we could help and God helped us find Rossi Grange Care Home. From then we began weekly visits to the care home and have even sent cars to the residents during this time. Again, this is not something we would have considered in the past if not for the trip to Poland. Maybe talking to people isn't the easiest thing for you. Or maybe it is. Either way, we all have our own skills. There are so many different ways that you can help the church. For example, some people are great with the children's work. Some people are great with technology, while others are musically talented or have great preaching skills. Others can help with charity work or missionary or praying. Sometimes people are great at spotting areas of need in the community and taking initiative. There's something for everyone. In Romans 12, verse four to six, it says, for just as we have many parts in one body, and not all parts have the same function. So we, being many, are one body in Christ and are all parts of another. We have diverse gifts according to the grace that is given to us. What this is saying is that we all have our own skills within the church group, but you can't compare your abilities to the person next to you just because they are different. They are all equally important. Jesus has all these qualities in one and each one of us has a piece of Jesus in us, the Holy Spirit. We can't do everything by ourselves, but when we come together as a church, we work as one body to help spread the word of God. We are all unique, and while we can't do everything by ourselves, just a small step in the right direction can have a huge impact on people's lives. Each person has a different experience and challenge. Whether it's finding your skill or having the courage to step out, Prayer is so important to help in your journey, no matter where you are. Waiting and listening to God is often very difficult and frustrating, but it's such an important thing. For us, we prayed a lot about what God wanted us to say and how to reach out to others. And though it's taken some time and was not particularly easy to do, we've learnt so much from this experience. Let's pray. Lord, I thank you for all of our own unique skills and abilities. I ask that you'll just help us to listen to you today, God. Help us to listen to what you want us to go and what you want us to do. Help us to have the courage to step out as we listen to you and have the courage to follow what you would like for us to do today. Amen. Amen. The song we've chosen for today is called Oceans by Hillsong United. This song is all about stepping out of your comfort zones and trusting that God will not let you sink. You call me out upon the Great unknown, where feet may fail, and there I find you. 